going on everybody out there this is popular stranger back at you again today with another how to make coins in madden 15 ultimate team video so last week we kind of started a mini series and we're going to do this throughout all of the positional hero sets releases we're going to talk about how to make coins and we're going to break it down for each individual set last week we went over left guard and free safety this week we got the middle linebacker set and the fullback set. In today's episode we're going to talk about what you can do to get rich and make ultimate team coins from the fullback set tomorrow. I'll be back with another video to talk about the middle linebacker set. So let's jump right on into it. The positional award or position hero that you get for this is a 99 overall fullback Bruce Miller with ground pound and speed run styles. So let's just kind of work from top to bottom. Um, now, one thing I'm not going to get into too deep because I want to talk it more, more in depth tomorrow, um, but are these two Football Outsiders cards. And my suggestions or my advice to you is if you have these cards, hang on to them for two reasons. Right now, they go for about 5 or 6K. It's a decent profit if you had it from, you know, the previous release. But right now, these two cards are back in packs, and I don't want to say that they're extremely frequent that you're going to pull them but they're also not very rare either and that's why they only go for about five or six thousand coins my suggestion to you is hang on to these cards if you have them and again i'm just speaking of these two football outsiders cards wait till these cards are out of packs that would probably be monday this upcoming monday so about five four days from now um the price on these will go up you may have to hold on to them for a couple days after that uh, but the price will go up, and again, I'm going to talk about investing in these cards in tomorrow's episode because there's a lot more examples, and then I'm going to kind of flash back to something I talked about in the left guard positional set episode last week. So, let's go through some of the other cards. Two ones right here, these Road to the Playoff fullbacks, Darrell Young or Daryl Young, I think it's Darrell, from the Washington Redskins, as you can see, going for about 20k. So if you have this card just chilling in your binder or in your reserves, be on the lookout for it because you can make a nice profit off of it. Same thing with Anthony Sherman. Uh, not as much of a profit, but, you know, about 10K. That's really, really good for a road to the playoffs gold card because these types of cards are somewhat useless when it comes to playing on the field now at this point. Um, so those two cards are really good to look for. And it's also good, like I said yeah, uh, in last week's episodes, in between games, go through this set, check on these cards that I'm going to show you. See if you can, uh, you know, catch one for maybe a 1,000, 2,000 coins and then relist it. Um, you're going to make a nice profit. So another card that I kind of want to take a glance at um, is this guy's whose name I'm not going to try to pronounce. If you know how to do it, it tell me in the comment section or something. Um, and you see one sold right there. So at first glance, you would think, hold on, there was one for 3,200 and there's one for about 5K. And then the rest of them are all in the 30s. This is what is probably called price fixing and and what somebody probably attempted to do let's actually see if the same person is selling both of these uh they're not so maybe they didn't do this intentionally um but you would think all first glance wow i should buy these two cards and then relist them at like 20k 15k i checked this card on mutthead.com it really only averages for about a 3k sale price. So you want to be careful in situations like this where it looks like it could be very, very profitable. Uh, in my opinion, this probably would not be for you just given kind of the law of averages. So mutthead.com is definitely your friend um, for checking out averages of price, recent auctions, things like that. So if you're not familiar with the website, you definitely need to go check it out. So let's talk about the super expensive golds, and that's Javorski Lane which is another road to the playoffs card. And holy crap, look at this. And it's been up there for three minutes. How did nobody get that, man? Um, so look there, live in person, live in video, we are going to make a profit. I think the next uh, next expensive one up there was 20K. So I'm going to sell it for about 15K. But as you can see, easy way to make profit. I always suggest in between games, just go check these sets out. I'll sell it for... Uh, I'll do 15.75. Um, yeah, in between games, man, just go ahead and check these sets out. You might catch one. I literally just went through all of these cards before I hit the record button and wasn't able to find nothing. Lo and behold, I go through it again while I'm recording this video for you guys. 
then I find one for about 4K, I'm going to resell it for 15K. It's about a 10K profit, and uh, it should sell rather quickly because that's one of their higher in-demand cards. Um, so another one is this Road to the Playoffs Orson Charles, and this one goes right now for about 30K. No luck there sniping one. Um, you do want to be careful because both of those guys have base cards, and uh, they don't really sell for as much. Uh, I know the Javorski Lane does not. I uh, probably passed it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come on. Where is he? Is he hiding from me? There he is. All right. So this, the base card of him doesn't really sell for much, as you can see, about 4,400. So maybe that guy who I just sniped it from uh, got it confused with the road to the playoffs version. Uh, the base Orson Charles does go for a bit. There's one up for 8K, and this is actually my card. Uh, I had it in my reserves or in my binder, and, you know, I sold it for 2K cheaper than the next closest so that's another one that you might have from a long time ago um that's worth some money and then these three elites the only two that really are profitable um john coon goes for under 10k tolbert i believe is in the teens or maybe 20s let's see here 16 17 18 19k so uh, you know we're around there um but these are cards that um, if you had from back in the day, you might be able to make some profit off them. I can tell you all the packs that I've been pulling lately, I've been pulling base elites and I've been hanging on to them. Uh, just in case they are part of a future positional collection, they can be a lot more valuable. I imagine these cards were a lot cheaper about a week ago. So, again, just check your reserves, check your binder. And then lastly, we'll take a look at some of the silver cards because these things are crazy expensive this is the biggest one right here, and uh, part of the reason it's so expensive is because it's also part of the team trophy set. Um, he's a free agent card, um, but this is part of the set that helps you get Barry Sanders, so people are not only trying to complete the fullback set, but they're also trying to complete that team trophy set to get Barry Sanders, and so this card is just crazy in price right now. Check your binder because you might have this one, and uh, I even heard on... PS3, it's selling for like 20k, which is crazy. So if you just recently bought a next-gen system, go buy that card on your old gen, transfer it over to the new gen, and then get rich off of it. Um, some other silver cards right here, we'll just quickly go through them. Uh, Dennis Coleman, I believe his name was, or Derek Coleman, my bad. John Connor. I think all of these silver cards go for a decent amount, basically double digits. Um, so just go through them. This guy, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name either. He's in the 40 and 50k range. So go through your binders, see if you got these cards, uh, you know, check them in between games, see if maybe you can find them for a lot cheaper than they, they should be selling for, like I did with that, you know, that Road to the Playoffs gold card. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to talk about investing and all that type of stuff in tomorrow's video, the middle linebacker positional collection. I hope to see you guys there. Click that thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, I'm Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.